Hey Photography Mafia, let's make an HDR photo with On One Photo Raw with these three bracketed photos that I took in Huacachina, Peru, also known as the Huacachina Desert or the Huacachina Oasis. These three bracketed photos and their corresponding RAW files will be available for download. So make sure to check the uh, description in case you want to play around with these photos and edit it yourself. So let's just take a look at these photos real quick. This is the normal exposure. This is the underexposure. And this is the overexposure. So I'll go back to the browser tab here. I will shift click on these photos and then we'll right click and I'll go to create HDR. I will leave the ghosting as low. I won't do anything with a tone and color and the HDR look here's natural, surreal and glow. Let's take a look at glow and just decrease it a little bit. I'll keep it on glow and keep it at these settings. So I'll click on save. Okay, great. So the first thing I want to do is just add a little bit of structure to this image here. So I'm going to go down to the structure section under the tone and color. And I'll just add a little bit of structure. It's very subtle, but at least it's not introducing more noise. So that looks good. And by the way, if I go back to the browse section, you can see the new on one or HDR dot on photo file. But I'll go back to the edit section. I won't crop this photo. You guys know how to do that. And another thing I'm trying to avoid these days is leveling every horizon I see just because there's natural curves or hills along the horizon. And especially with this sand dune or sand area being very mountainy, I think I'll just leave the horizon as is. What I do want to do is play with the color a little bit. So I'll go to the effects section here and you can see this HDR look right here, but I'm going to add a new filter and I'm going to add this color balance here. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually add a mask around this sun. Is I want to color around the sun. So I'm going to go to the mask right here. I'm going to go right here and make sure it's on vignette. And I'm just going to put a mask right here. Bring this a little bit like that. I think that looks good. Like that. Let's take a look at this mask. I'm going to increase the feather and actually make it a little bit bigger. And I'll deactivate it now. Okay, so what I'm going to first do is with these shadows, I think I'm going to go with a little bit of like a cyan look. I got to be careful because I'm putting a little bit too much. And it's introducing or making the sand sharpening a little bit more noticeable. So I will keep it very minimal like that. Let's take a look at the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. So it's a very subtle change. Subtle. And then with the highlights, I think I'm going to just put a little bit of magenta in it. Let's take a look here. So it looks like it's not impacting it too much, the highlights, because this is considered the midtones. So I'm going to reset this highlights color wheel. And I'm going to go to the midtones and let's see here. So now I can see a little bit better. There's more magenta here. Let's see how it looks with the purple. I think I like it like that. I'll leave the balance as is. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the develop section and just go to the vibrance here. Increase that a little bit and then increase the saturation. Let's overcook it first. Okay, that looks good. Now I want to play around with this middle area a little bit. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this mask. I'm going to click on right there. And then I'm going to go to the effects section, add a filter. I'm going to add a curves. I'm going to click on this mask. I'm going to right click on it now. 
I'm going to paste mask. So I got this mask here and I'm going to invert it by clicking right here. That looks good. Now I can play a little bit with the colors right here. So what I'm going to do is go to this blue channel and increase the blues a little bit. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good. Let's see what happens if I give it a more of a S curve. Nope, I don't like that. So I will remove this control point and just give it this blue look. And let's bring in some red into this mid tones just slightly. Actually, I'll bring some cyan. Now there's like a subtle, a more subtle adjustment and different colors going on around here. And I'm gonna go back to the color balance here because there's a little bit too much red here. So I'm gonna bring this down here in saturation. That looks a little bit better in the foreground here. And then let's go back to the curves. Go back to the green channel. Put a little bit of magenta. Let's take a look here. So I'm just playing with these colors here. There's a lot of things you can do or not do. I don't like what the green looks like, so I'll remove it. I'll go back to blue. Just put a little bit more blue like that. Nope, it's being overcooked in the middle, so I'll leave it like that. So let's turn the curves off. Let's see how it looks like without the curves and with the curves. I, look, I like it better with the curves. What do you guys think? And then the color balance without the color balance. And this is with the color balance. Of course, I can add more saturation if I want to the overall photo. And I don't think that looks good, so I'll just keep it at 20. I think this looks pretty good. What do you guys think? This is the before. And this is the after with just a little bit of color, color grading. But what I recommend you do is just play around with the gradient tools, especially the linear gradient and the radial gradient. And maybe you can get even better colors than I did. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. And as always, live easy, sleep breezy, and stay lovely.